Hello ladies and gentlemen, patrons of the internet, my name is Ante, and I am Cascadia Nerf. And this video is going to be different from my other content by a mile, but I think it's really important. Today I've compiled a review for the movie I believe everyone in our community needs to see. The Thunderdome documentary created and directed by Rob Lear. Now if you don't know Rob, I would stop this video and at least go check him out at Thunderdome Doc on YouTube. He's done an immense amount for our community and he should be respected. Now to preface my video and my analysis, I guess I should start out with the fact that Jane Gillar just made a video within this month, uh, this being April of 2018, about how our community can be toxic and toxic segments of our community and all that jazz. With us being a small hobby, he didn't see it viable or sustainable um, to have toxic segments of our community, and I completely agree. Um, where I want to shed light is that darkness cannot be driven out with darkness. Only light can do that, and I definitely think Rob is one of our lights. As for the movie, it's a view of Rob and several of Missouri State students' lives and their takes on their tribulations and what's going on to them and how they face it. Rob was in a plane crash making a documentary of slums in Africa, um, and this event severely traumatized Rob. I think if you watch the movie, you'll see that. That's the first scene you see. Um, as he was trying to help the pilot, Frank, out of the cockpit, he was torn away by a concerned crowd, and him and the other person making the movie never seen or heard about Frank again. Upon returning to the States, he fell into a deep depression and became addicted to video games. Uh, life seemed to be lived on borrowed time. He got into painting. He was pulled out of this funk by painting his whole house and getting into Nerf guns, uh, remembering that there were some stored at his dad's house. Um, as you probably can guess, the rest is history. Uh, he turned his house in his backyard into a Nerf arena. The movie later talks about the live action society and the impact of humans versus zombies at Missouri State University. Um, and I guess one thing I want to iterate is like the rhetoric of pretending death is real in HVZ uh, can must it must be excruciating for Rob, especially for someone that feels like living on borrowed time, uh, someone that's really fearful of death. The movie goes into a lot of detail about that, um, who is waking hours in the night worrying about death. Um, and then it goes talk, and then it goes on to talk about how in HVZ, when there's nothing left to fight for, for you are now one of the zombie horde. Um, a pretended death becomes like real, and it becomes a reward. And I found that pretty ironic. The movie is presented with feeling, with a feeling of love and acceptance, um, and all of this is unconditional. It's just like Grandma's Cookies, except it's Rob's documentary. The movie goes on to show the struggle with PTSD, um, bipolar, depression, any of the things that seem like hurdles to us truly are something we can overcome. It's a choice to wallow, but it's also a choice to go out and do something about it. This documentary is almost purely about living life to your fullest, and I really respect that. My experience with mental illness leaves me literally gasping for air sometimes. I live with Dunn diagnosed bipolar disorder. I know it's bipolar because I've been treated with um, several antidepressants, but uh, finally when I was put on lithium for my doctor, which is uh, treats bipolar, I finally got relief. I also live with psychosis, depression with psychotic features. Um, and if you don't know what that means, I'm literally playing Doom every second of my life. I see demons and I hear things and I just want to keep them at bay. Every morning I wake up, I look in the mirror on the back of my bedroom door, wondering what I can do to make today a good day. And at the end of every day, I take my Abilify and my Lamotrigine to keep my demons at bay. And I know identity politics aren't everyone's cup of tea, and that's a completely different video for a different day. But as part of the queer community, I also try and live life to the fullest every day because I feel like I have a target on my back. In middle school, when the sexes started to know each other, my head was spinning, um, and I never felt right in my own body since then. Um, I would just like to point out that queer kids are three more, 
three times more likely to kill themselves and have depressive episodes than straight ones. Um, since middle school, I've been in and out of depressive episodes due to my bipolar and probably queer identity as well. Um, I started in middle school with a suicide attempt, and maybe that's why I want to be a social worker to help out with this issue. It's a really important thing to me. This community gives me hope. Seeing all the cool shit that people do with plastic toy guns is just fun and inspiring. Um, I got back into Nerf in between my freshman and sophomore year of college, and I've never looked back. Playing with colorful plastic blasters seems to bring people joy, and seeing people enjoy brings me joy. This hobby is more than just a hobby. It builds camaraderie, and this movie is a perfect example of the light that drives out the darkness in our hearts, in the lives, and in our community. I love seeing Drac play a hero to a kid suffering from cancer and building hammer shots with them. I love seeing Clowny give away 2017's hottest blaster just in time for New Year's so our community does outreach and makes sure kids have toys for Christmas. It really warms my heart. I can imagine how many hearts have been touched by Rob's videos against suicide, and I hope people keep getting helped by them. Our community isn't toxic. This community is burgeoning like flowers growing up a brick wall. This community is something I want to continue to be a part of. In my opinion, this movie is a feel-good movie with a message that hits really deep. A message that speaks romantically and truthfully, and it's funny because all this revolves around a product that was initially a tear-out coupon from a cereal box and the toy has blossomed from there. Rob is good people to have around. The Nerf community is good people to have around. If you haven't seen this movie, throw Rob 14 bucks plus shipping and get it in your collection. There's also an $8 digital release and I have two copies of the movie. Everyone that buys this has two copies of the movie so I'd be willing to give mine away. Just comment if you want to um, you know, have that in your collection. Nerf saves people's lives, and I've been led to believe this through Rob, through our community, through a lot of people, um, and through my own lived experience. Um, um, yeah. Please, if anyone ever needs to talk, I'll be here. This movie is true and pure. I'll stop clapping and let you go see it. Um, this is Ante signing off.